include too is that other remote. Yeah. They'll velcro it right here. Right. Yeah. And then these speakers are, are hooked up to that. And this uh, remote eye is actually ran all the way to those two ones for the satellite and the DVD player. Storage here. Say you're in Mexico or something and the tap water is dirty and you don't want to put your hose in the other side, right. um, then you can buy the big barrels of water and dump them in gravity. Yeah, it you can't fill that way. He has to fill it too. The Allegro was that way too. You had to fill it through the... Oh, was, there was no gravity fill? No gravity fill. Oh, okay. And that's also nice for dropping in chemical or something yeah. if you wanted to treat your tank. Oh, yeah. um, so here's your chassis batteries. And you do have a hard cutoff switch right up here. Okay. Um, so when you're storing the coach, it's probably the only time you use that. Whoops. All right. So here's your um, here's your inverter. Right. Um, this whole compartment has a, a thermostat in it. So every time it gets a little too hot in here, this fan is going to kick on and suck some of that heat out. Um, this is where we mounted your um, solar controller and we, we ran it through this breaker here. So if your panels have a surge of power, um, or, or this controller for that instance, um, it pop it. it's going to pop this. Oh. So for some reason if you think you're not charging your batteries, you can check this. Okay. Uh, here's your second, fur your second furnace. So here's all the access that you have um, to the rear. You've got just the, just the important things like filling up your, your coolant, power steering fluid, transmission check, and engine oil dipstick. Um, and also your, your air, air, air filter gauge. Um, yeah, anything else for service wise is uh, is going to be underneath. You can take this ladder down and huh? You can take that out in case uh, you didn't want kids going on the roof or something. And you can store it underneath. Uh, reverse lights and camera. And uh, like I was telling you, those, those docking lights right. are. Uh, I think that's a little bit. Maybe that's the service line. Would those be the docking lights back there? Yeah, those must be the docking lights there. So there's two reverse lights there. touch that up for you. There's actually touch-up paint in the coach. Uh, and also, here's your surge protector we installed for you. Uh, it looks like it's mounted upside down, but this that's actually the way it goes. This gauge reads this way. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it's all, it's all hardwired. No one can steal it. And uh, your cord goes through here. You have right. your adapters. Uh, here's your six volt batteries. Like I said, check the water levels every 30 days. If you're not using them a lot, probably less than that. That's the one bad thing about yeah. six volts that you water. Yeah. 
Um, so this is only about half full, so you top that, you're going to top that off? I'm going to top it off, yeah. Okay. And the other thing, too, is uh, this gauge doesn't work unless the key's on. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah just for your information. Okay. That's that DEF stuff I was talking about. Diesel engine. So here's your uh, wet bay. Okay. Uh, this is where you'll be showering. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you've got an exterior shower that operates off of the tank with the water pump. Uh, this indicator light here is if the propane is on. Uh, not to be confused with an indicator light for the water pump. Uh, now the way that these work is, uh, see this little arrow here? If it's pointing up into the coach, that's, and then it's pointing to city that way. This is by winterizing the stuff. Exactly. It goes around the water heater. Uh, water pressure regulator goes on here or on uh, your water source. Right. Uh, yeah, put an IDM on it, put the water pressure regulator and put the hose on it. Yep, and this actually does uh, swivel or rotate. Uh, sewer tank flush, please only use that when the uh, black tank is valve is open. Pressurize that tank. Okay. I've seen people blow them up on the fence. chassis fuses are going to be in here, the relays, um, and you also have a, a hood pop for your generator compartment. This generator doesn't slide out because it's serviced from underneath, um, so there's no reason for it to slide out. Um, you've also got an air gauge here, and that's going to put out just as much pressure as you have in your front tank, which is about 130 psi, and you can fill up all of your tires with that. Also, with this generator, um, this breaker right here, make sure that's flipped up. If if it's not, you're not. Uh, you don't have power for your generator. Perfect. It's like you, you can feel the quads and stuff from there. The yeah. tires. And stuff. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah. Most of the diesel's out there. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Alright, I guess we're good to go then. Okay, well, thanks Bob and Susan, you've been great. And uh, that concludes another walkthrough here at Demartini RV.